What's up guys? This is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video. Doing a throwback video this time of a rack stereo system, component system, whatever you called it. Uh, this is something that people had back in the day and I still have mine and I just want to talk about it let you guys know what I got here. And at the same time, I'm rocking that Saints gear up there and uh, let you guys know. I have it hooked up with my aux card here, as you guys can see. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack still on deck. Let's get into it and see what we got here. Wheel H Tech. Okay guys, so I have my system set up in the back of my house, uh, back here where I can get my exercise on. It's just a, a room that I have added on to my house back here. And uh, you guys see this table a lot in my videos. This is where I do a lot of recording. And the system is over here in the corner. So when I was a kid, these were very popular. I grew up in the 70s, early 80s. And a lot of the guys back then, some of my friends, uncles, uh, uh, family members uh, were military people. And they would, they would have, have these, or non-military, but a lot of people would have these. And uh, at the time, you know, I was a kid, I couldn't afford it. And when I got old enough to where I could buy one, I wanted to uh, set this up. So I, I still have this. This thing's gotta be 25 years old at least. And it still works, everything works. Uh, you do have, I do have an aux card hooked up here. Uh, that's why I phone with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is always nice. Cause I can just plug in and play my music from that. Rocking that Saints gear like I told y'all. And let's go over some of the pieces I have here. So what I wanted to do when I started this project some years and years back, I wanted to buy piece by piece. So if one piece went out, then it wouldn't kill my whole system. So that was my theory on it. You could buy the ones in a whole case built together with your uh, turntable, your cassette player, and all of that. But I wanted to do mine individually, and my original plan was to buy the same brand for each component, but <laughs> as time went on, I wasn't able to do that. So here is my first uh, component that I have here. Now, I apologize because I don't know all of the specs on each of these components. Uh, I tried to look it up online and a lot of them are discontinued or you can't just can't find any information. Uh, but my first component here at the top, uh, this is the Techniques Compact Disc Changer, model number SL-PD7. And this is a, a CD player, digital opti optical output. And you could put a uh, five CD disc in here and you can play your music for quite a while right there. So here are some of the uh, features or some of the uh, things you could do with it right here. You got spiral, random mode, repeat, uh, all of this stuff here. Now a lot of this stuff I never did learn how to use. Mostly just put my CDs in there and let them go like that. And this is how you would open it up and you would drop your CD in just like this. And then if you wanted to load more, you just skip over to the next uh, section there and you just let it ride like that. So uh, this is the techniques. There's the uh, view window there. It would tell you where the CDs are and you could program it to play cuts off of certain, certain CDs and everything. So that is my first component. So let's move on to the next one. So my next component is my stereo receiver. So this is what drives everything. Uh, I think this is like 100 watts per channel. Excuse how dusty it looks. <laughs> I have dust this and wiped it down so many times, but with the black, it uh, continues to show the dust. So this is the TIAC model number AG780 AMFM stereo receiver. A little bit of information about this one. I think it has 100 watts per channel and there, is some of these specs right there. So you could hook up, there's your power button. You could have four speakers hooked up. You do have a headphone jack, 
uh, tuning mode. There's some of the other features. You can see video, ox, tape, monitor, tuner, photo, CD, uh, phono, CD. You got your sleep. You can set a sleeper, a timer, loudness, bass, treble, balance, and your volume mob, dial. So this pushes out pretty good sound. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Like I said, I wanted to keep all of them the same name brand, but uh, this is the way I had to do it back then. And when I was a kid, like I said, this, this was our electronics. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have uh, video games. We had transistor radios, uh, tape recorders, and things of that nature. Uh, some of the top brands back there were Marantz, Bose, Pioneer, uh, just to name a few. So uh, let's move on to the next component. Component here is my double cassette player. This is made by Sony. Uh, don't see a model number on here. This is one that was really hard to try and find anything on it uh, because it's so old, but it's a Sony. You can see uh, some of the uh, different features you had here. Uh, it's double cassette. I can record from one and, and to the other. And then you got your fade and things of that nature there. There's some of the uh, other features. So to load your cassette, you would open that up. If you want to rock a little Bob Marley, drop him in, and then you just press play. I'm not going to play anything because uh, I don't want any copyright <laughs> issues here. So... But that's how you would do it. And like I said, all of this stuff still works. Uh, sorry I don't have the, if I find it, I'll flash it on the display, but that is the double cassette player. Let's move on. To, so the last piece to my system here is my equalizer. This is the Kenwood Serial Graphic Equalizer, model number GE50. And with this, I could fine tune my music just like I want it. Uh, just have it you know, set the highs, the lows, the bass, everything. Uh, don't know a lot of specs on this one at all, just like the rest of them, but uh, here's some of the features here. You can set it for uh, tape, reverse, range, line, uh, your EQ effects. Like I said, it has a lot of features here. I'm not sure if this has uh, any power to it or not. Uh, as far as adding to the power output, uh, just knew how to play it, <laughs> and that was it, and set it. So I uh, tried looking online for different uh, specs on it, uh, but I just couldn't find any. So those are the four components that I have. And like I said, I always wanted to add me a reel-to-reel -reel and a turntable, but I never did get around to it. So let's take, take a look at the speakers now. So here are my speakers here, as you guys can see. Uh, these are some pretty good sized speakers. They stand about three feet tall. They have a cover that you can remove or leave on. And these are the Techniques SB-SL901 three-way speaker system. So at the top, you got your tweeter, your mid-range, and your woofer, 15-inch woofer. It have a little hole there for breathing. And uh, these put out some good sound, man. Uh, probably not the best. These were pretty cheap at the time. I think I paid like 150 bucks for uh, both speakers. Uh, but they put out some decent sound. Uh, these are my little cassette holders. Like I said, all this stuff is old. Here are some of the uh, titles here. And uh, over the years, some of my friends borrow your stuff. They never bring it back. <laughs> So a lot of my uh, cassettes and stuff I had from back in the day, they are gone. And that is all I'm left with right there. Here are some of the CDs. And I do have a lot more of these uh, put away. There's some more down there. And uh, that's pretty much the setup. I have it in this nice case uh, st uh, stereo stand here. It's got the glass set up. And I just have to keep showing you guys that Saints gear. They open up like that, and that is it. This is my old school throwback rack stereo system. And that's how we're doing it over here. So 
I'm gonna crank it up, let you guys hear some of the, the tunes on it, and catch you guys in the next video, Will H. And I'm gonna be out.